on the planet Seymour, far within the Mufine galaxy, a decontrolled robot assassinated the omnipotent Balazar, who was known to possess the most brilliant mind in the universe. So powerful was Balazar's genius that as he lay dying, his brain ordered built a mechanism which would keep it alive even though his body was destroyed. And now Balazar's brain seeks universal conquest. But here on the Emerald Planet, the highest council in the Marpet Galaxy considers the terrible immediate menace to the solar system of Earth and to the planet Earth itself. Balazar's brain leads the infiltration of Earth, preparing it for the attack forces which will follow. And that attack will be with nuclear weapons. The flood of radioactivity, which inevitably will spill out into space, is what primarily concerns these Emerald Planet creatures. High radioactivity, the emerald creatures realize, will poison even the distant reaches of outer space. As a result, it is possible that in time, other planets such as this will become uninhabitable. The Council now is deciding what must be done. They have learned that Balazar's brain already is secretly on Earth to command the Sumerian spies and saboteurs. If this evil force can be stopped and destroyed before actual nuclear war begins, then the universe will be safe. The High Council agrees that there is only one way in which they may be able to achieve this. The scientists of the Emerald Planet have invented one of the most ingenious mechanisms the universe has ever seen. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables its wearer to do three things, to fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. Finally, this great form of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the mass attack by the Zemarians, the Emerald Men once more must present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature made of the strongest steel, the creature who can disguise himself as an Earthling. He is the creature known as Starman. <laughs> suitcase lies the living brain of Balazar. You may go now. All right. I have these on. Do you have to take me into the station? Yes, come on. We are all going to be killed. You've got to release me. I've got to search for that suitcase. 
I can't let you go yet. I'm aware you were not guilty of that robbery today. And yet you tried to escape from the police earlier. Just what was in that case? You mentioned a brain of some sort. Are you sure it didn't really contain stolen jewels? What was in it? It is a brain. I'm not lying, I tell you. You are lying. Now stop. Now, tell the truth. I swear it. Really? It is a brain? An animal brain, is that right? No. It belongs to a creature from outer space. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? A creature that will rule the universe. Huh? Oh! <gasps> the creature is called Palazar. It was hidden in that case. I've been working as Dr. Kurokawa's laboratory assistant then. And the brain came to him there. It appeared one day. It was brought from the planet Zima. I'm not making this up, sir. Dr. Kurokawa began working under its evil power. So I just packed the brain and ran. It must be destroyed. Otherwise, it will take over the Earth. You must find it. This is Okamoto. Ah, what can I do to help, sir? This is Dr. Kurokawa speaking. I've heard that you're holding Kawada, an assistant of mine, and I want to warn you about him. Do not trust anything that he might say. And the boy has an imagination. I thought I'd better warn you. Ah, uh, about the suitcase. It contains nothing of any value, I assure you. Just a diseased guinea pig is all. You can release Kawada. I shall. I'll do it immediately. Yes. Oh, and I'm glad you told me this, sir. Kawada. I just talked to Dr. Kurokawa. My apologies, you may go now. Release him. Yes, sir. Well, did you find the suitcase? No, sir. The men searched everywhere down that stream, but no sign of it. Very well, you may call off the search then. Yes, sir. Yes. But that suitcase, if I don't find it, we'll all die. <laughs> Kawada searches for the precious suitcase. Balazar's brain orders his men to kill the youth. to bring the brain here to you, Dr. Sakurai, because it's imperative that it be destroyed. To do so won't be easy. It is indestructible. It's impervious to all poisons. If it is blown up, its cells will regenerate and multiply, and it'll still be alive. You're the only man, Dr. Sakurai, who may be able to save the Earth. Only you. 
Only you can kill the brain. That's right. At least he must try. He's a great scientist, no? The greatest. I'm certain that your father is the genius that'll save us all. The creatures that are infiltrating Earth are mutations, monsters created by the scientists on Zemar. Those monsters, what do they look like, do you know? Some, I think, look exactly like us. Mutations have also been made in other forms. Go on. A lot of them may be invisible and take forms which we cannot even imagine. They await orders from the brain. And soon it will give commands to them. I'll do what I can to stop this. I promise that you'll get my complete help. I thank you. My signaler. Just throw it. If you need me, I will answer it. I'll throw it, and you will answer. Well, children, now I'll try to stop the brain. Good luck, Starman. All of us are counting on you. I know, and I'll try to save the planet Earth. Doctor, I beg you to start your research now, sir. I shall. Let us start working together. managed to get away. Starman attacked and rescued him. Now Kawata and Dr. Sakurai are seeking a formula. It is one that would destroy the brain of our honored leader, Balazar. If you command, I will then kill both of them. Never mind them. My brother Okawa has rescued the brain. By now, the doctor is too late. All across Earth, everything is in readiness to attack Earth at any moment. There is nothing I know that can stop it. Mankind's run on Earth shall be ended. As the creatures attack, there's no one on Earth who can resist them. <laughs> ahead of us, a monster. It was too late to halt the train. I swear it, it was a monster. Attention all patrol cars. Attention all patrol cars. Emergency in the Koto district. You are to proceed to the area and seek a monster. You warned us that this would occur. Isn't that right? Didn't you? If father doesn't succeed, these creatures will destroy us in a few days. That's true. And I think some plans are in the office of Dr. Kurokawa. Plans? What kind are they? I don't know exactly. They have to do with that living brain, I think. They could aid in our research, so I shall go and try to locate them. I'll go with you. Need you take us, please. It's too dangerous for you. Don't say anything. I don't want the doctor to worry, understand? I'll see you later. Wish me luck. I'll need it. He could be killed. I'm scared. He'll be all right. Hoping to verify Kawada's story to the police, Detective Okamoto has been following him.
longer safe in this house. True, Sito. All secret instructions. Bring them. This. Am I right? Uh, uh, In one of the many secret Zima bases. The area leader is here. Good. But I John! I bring great news from our leader, Balazar. He is very pleased. He asked me to tell you that preliminary attacks have been successful. However, Dr. Sakurai is working on defenses. We cannot make our final attack before we find out one thing. How successful the doctor has been in his search for a formula which would kill our leader, Balazar's brain. I have ordered one of our new mutants, which breathes radioactive vapor, to visit the doctor and to get our answers from him. succeeded in chasing it out of here. And which way were they headed? I'm not certain. They jumped out.
One of the mutations attacked the doctor. An emergency search should be conducted immediately. Call out a general alarm. One slash of the mutant's solid cobalt nails could destroy it. Multiplying Sumerian mutations come in from all parts of the world. Research in this guarded laboratory is being feverishly conducted by Dr. Sakurai and his assistants, who seek desperately a formula which could destroy the leader of the invaders, Balazar's brain. Already, many of the mutants, disguised as human beings, are walking the streets of Earth's cities. To pay for their food and clothing, they frequently commit daring robberies, such as the one now being carried out. Can I, I want to look at engagement rings. Yes, sir. A lovely diamond, sir. Hmm. I'd like something larger than this. Here. are increasing, as you know. The police have got to stop them. But these creatures are of another world. And I'm sorry to admit that we're helpless. You can't stop them using weapons. I would suggest attempting something else. I think you must capture one. That's the only way we might learn about them. And so I want you to watch all the large jewelry stores. As you no doubt realize, this is the first stage of an insidious invasion by which all of Earth is threatened with ultimate destruction. Mankind is depending on you. Good luck. No Earth scientist is safe from the Sumerians. Tonight, Professor Ishii carries some of the defense plans home for study.
two of them took the plans. They... Oh. Two children, Isako and Harada, are returning home from a neighbor's birthday party. Detective Taragawa, before investigating further, must seek medical help for the stricken Professor Ishii. The detective sees what appears to be a private hospital. Excuse me, nurse. Do you want to see me? I'm a police officer. There's a man who's been hurt on the next corner. The man needs medical aid. But this is a private hospital. I know that, yet you can't let him suffer That's there. True. Oh, I overheard. Send an ambulance for the man immediately. He'll be treated very well. You're a policeman, eh? Looking for mutants? Yes. Uh, I trust you'll be successful. I wish you luck. Thank you, Doctor. Now, if you'll excuse me. By all means. This is no real doctor. This is a Zamarian mutant. They acted strangely. We should investigate. Not me. And you know that Father warned us not to stay out late, so let's get on. You're afraid. I'm not. I'm going to become a detective in a few years, so I'll learn how tonight. Stop it. You're being silly. <laughs> now, why are you children out so late? That's a big secret. Why do you ask that? You see. Here, look at my identification cards. You mean you're a detective, then? That's right, children. Have you seen anything suspicious tonight? There were two men acting very strangely. Oh? What did they look like? They were wearing light coats and carrying some kind of case.
The news is excellent. Mutants are now ready in attack strength in every nation on Earth. In a few hours, Balazar, our great leader, will issue the final orders to attack. And you all shall obey them. By the Marian master! Team! Starman fought off our whole unit. Starman! He'll have to be destroyed. Scientists continue desperately to seek one formula which will stop the mutants from dividing and another formula which will destroy Balazar's brain when it is located. Time is running out for the planet Earth. Inspector, I'm still suspicious of that hospital. Mm. You know, at first I thought you were wasting your time investigating the hospital, but I don't know now. You don't, sir? No. I find it strange that Professor Ishii died there. They could have saved him. Yes. I would like you to keep the hospital under surveillance. Yet they mustn't know that you're doing this. This might turn out to be one of their headquarters. I'd like a report whenever you learn anything. The two Zimmerians who attack Professor Ishii realize they must get rid of the only humans able to identify them, the children Isado and Harada. Oh, your shoelace is untied. I'll fix it. Doctor, a child is here. He's been hurt. Oh, show him in. Don't come in here, Isako. Oh, now, no. go ahead. It's all right. <laughs> now, what's the matter, Did Sasha? I hardly hmm? touch me at all? That's hmm. true, Doctor. But he should remain for examination, don't you think so? Hmm. He wouldn't like to have an infection. Definitely not. Let me take a look. No. Hmm? <laughs> well, put him in one of the rooms. It's no use. I won't go in. Oh, oh behave and don't be afraid. I think you'll be all right now. <laughs> yes. I'm certain he'll be a good boy. Tell me, you won't mind staying for observation? Then you can leave tomorrow if you're well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, you won't mind this at all, Isako. Hmm? <sighs> Isn't this nice? Sleep here. Can I lie down? Of course, if you like. If you feel like a nap, you can take it. I'll come back later. Behave. Take care of him. He's my only brother. We will. I'll come by tomorrow to take you home. Don't forget. Come along. Don't be worried. Your brother's in good hands. I still don't like it here at all. I'll escape as soon as I can.
police don't suspect me at all, there'll be no problem. But I will have trouble with that man from the Emerald Planet. Starman. How shall I get rid of him? as soon as it is dark. I shall signal you the last instructions before dawn. One other thing. Starman shall counterattack. You must destroy him. See? <laughs> off this coast with airship cover. And we will move the third mutant army in from this point. Correct. Balazar will give the final orders within a few hours. A spy! Quick, quick! Oh, 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 oh. Trouble at the hospital, 
And I had to leave him there all alone. I didn't know this, Arata. You could be right. I must investigate. You stay here. I'll find him. As Starman flies to save Isako, his sister decides to send the police also to rescue her brother. As the police respond, Starman finds the Zamarian base. You'll regret entering our secret base, Starman! Kill him! I Surrender easily. Listen, Starman. We're only a small unit of Zemarians. You won't stop all of us. You'll learn. Retreat quickly. Ishiyama was on their side then, is that it? Correct. I know I'll meet him again. He's just one among many Zemarians. They have invaded all areas of Earth. I face a great challenge. I will try everything to stop them. All the people of Earth are with you. The Sumerians plan to kill all government leaders. And now one of the world figures returns from an Eastern Nations conference. He faces death from the Sumerians.
invisible, and then taking on weird shapes, the Sumerian mutants begin to kill earthlings indiscriminately.
Back straight, please. You must keep it straight. That's better. Plie and up. Back. Down. Up and plie. Excellent. Chins up, chins up, girls. Gracefully, gracefully. Nami, you've forgotten already. Fingers together. That's it. Good. Hold it. Arms straight. Obasan. Again. Hold yourselves in. And. One and two. <gasps> At this moment, an earthling traitor named Michio delivers the final plans for the Sumerian attack to Professor Okawa, who is the brother of Dr. Kurakawa, and who will conduct the germ warfare phase of the impending attack. Answer. The attack starts tomorrow. Go late bringing them here. I'm sorry. It really doesn't matter. All the preparations are made. I suppose you'll be commanding one of the nuclear units. Yes, naturally. I wish you success. You can go now. I'm busy. All right, sir. I'll go over the plans later. goes to a secret laboratory where germ mutants are bred from a single source, the doctor's giant germ mutation. Destroy them. And the earth shall 
now become a tiny part of the Sima Empire. Vast armies of mutants multiply to fantastic amounts, move stealthily into positions for the great attack. to attack as he searches for the secret laboratory from which the mutants are being created and from which deadly germs are creeping over the earth, killing every human in their paths. What is this? It's the germs. Easy. You talk. You've got to try. Where did they attack you? What were you near when you were attacked? Talk. You've got to help. Talk. I, I will try. I was working on top of the hill near a house. The germs in this cylinder are very deadly. I'll take only a few of these and wipe out a billion of them. As soon as it ends, are you going to destroy the mutants because you'll no longer be needing them? To conquer more planets, we must have them. The whole universe shall fall to us because of the great power of them. germs experimentally outside. That's all. On an old woodcutter. You fool! That act will reach Starman straight to us! Starman moves in on the Sumerian germ laboratory. As soon as he is notified, defense forces.
we'll get in here soon. I use a mutant, one of the greatest of them. Its nuclear weapon will destroy Starman.
There isn't any pulse. What's in here? Gentlemen, it's a nuclear device. I will destroy it safely away from civilization. There is little time. I know what lies ahead. You have to find a brain, the leader of the Zimerians. That's urgent. Unless that is destroyed, they still may win. All Earth hopes that you can succeed in killing it. You must find it. We know that they will attack in a few hours. But I shall try, sir. I shall search for their headquarters when I get rid of this. Alazar's brain within Supreme Headquarters is well hidden from Starman's search. Meanwhile, world leaders under heavy guard await the imminent attack of the Zemarian mutants. Supreme Headquarters. Look, Sharman! Look out!
on the brain, all the mutants in the world will also die. Thank you all. Very well, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 